Here in the kitchen, Rick Croslin, our science guy, is here. Yeah. We've got shaving cream. We have shaving cream. We've got food coloring. <laughs> We've got sheets of 8 by 11 paper and something called hydro... Philic or hydro... Folic. Hydrophilic or hydrophobic? Hydrophobic. Okay. Hydrophobic. So it scares me. I'll go with hydrophobic. <laughs> so shaving cream is really an interesting thing. When I look at the world and I try to teach children, is it a solid? Is it a liquid? Is it a gas? And shaving cream is mostly a little bit of air and soap. Mm -hmm. And soap is this weird stuff, and it's good for us because it has this real weird molecule. One end attracts water, and the other attracts oil. So it's good for washing your hands because it's water soluble. But shaving cream is very interesting. If you just let that sit for a while, it'll end up just being a pile of soap and all the air and, goes out of it. And incidentally, as you're, as you're demonstrating this, I probably was remiss in not pointing out that this is going to end up <laughs> being a holiday card. A holiday, a Christmas card, holiday card because it's a fun activity so you got your shaving cream and we'll, the kids like all different colors but we're just going to stay with some green drops and if you notice these drops stay on top of the shaving cream that's the hydrophobic nature it, oh, it, does, it hates okay, water okay. it hates water but uh, and I'll put some red in there and you don't and, want to get that coloring on your hands or clothes, do you? <laughs> it's an yeah. occupational yeah, yeah. for me. And uh, take a toothpick, and this is the part where kids just want to make a big smear, but if you just help me guys here, take a uh, toothpick and just make some interesting, just, and you notice that it, it starts to look almost, uh, well, I use this as the gases of Jupiter, uh, mm. which is uh, a pretty mm -hmm. cool science project. But, so we have some uh, interesting... Uh, decorations and you know what most kids will just want to smear and turn it into a great Christmas but if you take this now and let's uh, lay this on here mm -hmm. and this is where it gets oh, to be fun we're going to okay. be doing some printing and when you lift it up you're going to see some beautiful look at that isn't that just cool, cool. Look look at that. Yeah. and you'll be able to use this for a bunch of them this is where it starts to get messy so having some fun with the kids once twice and and oh, cool all of this is gets to be just so much fun and so the the food coloring sticks to the paper. Jackson Pollock's got nothing on Rick Crosland. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you can do this over and over again, and there's one to let dry for a second. But if you notice, we still have two more places to try this. And uh, gentlemen, if you want to get your fingers, probably not. Go, uh, go ahead. No, I'm in, yeah. um, okay. Well, I, I, well, this is neat, though. I, I um, and I'm, I'm I'm even picturing like taking like a maybe even like a pen and ink on top of this once you've established the sort of the the colorful background sure. and then painting a little elf or something. And if, if you don't have a ruler, you can just try and let's go ahead and take this and we'll wipe that off. You're, you're going for the, oh, I should be nice to your artwork. You're going to the kind of like oh, the yeah. Christmas I'm, smear. That was my, that was my <laughs> Matisse right. there. Yeah. Yeah, so. uh, lay one more. We can lay one more, Randy. You just want to put it right on top of here? Yeah, yeah, okay. okay. Yep. All right, and then uh, I'll let you use the, uh, we lift this up again, and I'll let you use the ruler to do your, your magic okay. uh, zigzag. Ruler is yours, sir. Okay. And, uh, Oops, I got it on my hands. Okay. All right. So just kind of <laughs> smear it out. And this becomes a lot of fun. Our grandkids would love this. Yeah. I yeah. mean, they really would. And then you end up, uh, let, I, I know I got it. Let's see, we'll wipe that off, or you can okay. just scrape it He's off. He's putting it on kind you. of thick, isn't he, right? Yeah. But <laughs> I always do. Here's the fun. <laughs> Uh, and uh, so you got a nice card right there. But this card is going to be something weird is going to happen this card. And I'll give you a hint. Uh, you see the candle there? Yes. So uh, I put some Merry Christmas on uh, in candle. Let's see if, if that will stick there. Huh. And maybe it will, maybe it won't. Oh, I'm starting to see some. Uh, some. Ah. Ah. So the wax allowed it nice. not to stick. Yeah. So hydrophobic, hydrophilic. Christmas fun. You can uh, fold this in half, and uh, it's still enough time to send it in the mail for your little bit of science, a little bit of Christmas cheer, <laughs> and a little bit of science. That. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, incidentally, we've got a little QR code in the corner of your screen. You can point your phone at that, and that'll I'll take, take that. you directly to the good information that Rick Croslin has blessed us with. <laughs> That's neat. I like the crayon thing, or not the crayon, but the, the candle. The yeah. candle wax, yeah.